What's up everybody? Today we are here at KWI because National Boiler is wanting to test our students for possible employment with their company. And today we're gonna find out, you know, what students are gonna be testing, um, what their nerves are like, how are they feeling, get an idea of what it's like before the weld test, and then after the weld test, we're gonna see how they did and how they you know, felt about it and what the experience was like for them. So National Boiler's a company, um, they do work all over in boilers and the power industry and they you know, go to different places and test companies and contractors and they're here at KWI today to see if we have any students that are ready for them or you know, for possible employment. So they bring their simulators, they bring their QC and they test our students in our facility. So today's gonna be an awesome day. Stick with us here and you'll find out and see what it's like to test for a company here at KWI. My name is Taft Aldridge. I'm from Lake County, Virginia, and I'm about to take the NBS test. And you just woke up, didn't you? Yeah, I just woke up. How are you feeling about today? I'm feeling pretty good. I'm a pretty confident person, so I ain't really, yeah, I ain't pretty, I ain't really worried about it. Do you know what the weld test is going to be? It's a combo monster inside a two post. I'm ready for it, I believe. All right, well, we'll catch up with you during the weld test and after the weld. All right, sounds good. So make sure you get a great number and email. Alright, National Boiler just had their meeting with our 11 students that they will be testing and they went over how the fit up's going to go, the root reinforcement, the time limit, everything that National Boiler wants to see from someone testing and in this case it's our students. So right now they're prepping their metal, they're getting everything ready to take the weld test. Um, National Boiler is providing the simulators, they're providing the, the monster coupons, and they're providing the TIG rigs, pretty much everything. And that's how it's gonna be when you're gonna go test on a job site. So the students right now are tacking everything up, getting everything set up, and then they're gonna call the QC, National Boiler, to check it off, and they're gonna go ahead and start. So we're gonna let those guys finish up prepping and getting everything set up, and then we'll go check out and see what's going on. All right, we're tacking this test piece here. Got the simulator getting ready to be tacked up. Oh yeah, so this is the National Boiler Simulator. This is gonna simulate what it's like to be welding tubes on a water wall or in the boiler. I'm gonna hold this for you just in case. There we go, nice. Hey, guys, yep. Hey, my name is Will Miles. I'm with National Boiler Services. Uh, we're here at uh, Kentucky Welding Institute doing a weld test. I think we got 11 of them testing today. Um, they're doing a heavy wall restricted test. Come on, be two welders with us. Uh, so we'll see how they do today. There you go. Packing that monster loop on up. How's it going? It's going pretty all right. Got the root in? Yeah, and hot pass. All hot pass. So now you're going to break it out and start stick welding. Start, start doing 78 training. So he bought off your root? Yes, sir. All right, man. Mm -hmm. Sweet, Monster Coupon is rooted in hot pass. You have any trouble with it? And not really, just the, just getting in the side, a little tight. All right, all right. All right. Rock and roll with the next phase of it. All right, so we're about halfway through the testing process with the National Boiler Services, and a lot of the students have passed. There's a couple students that did fail today, um, and that's okay because we're in welding school, and failure is a good thing. That means you're learning. You do not learn unless you fail a lot. So those students will just have to go back to the drawing board, figure out where they messed up, and make those corrections the next time. 
The students who did pass, they are now, as you've seen, cutting their straps out. So they're gonna cut their straps out of their monster coupon, and then they're gonna clean them up, and the National Boiler uh, QC is going to check off the straps, and then they're gonna go ahead and bend them in our bender to see if they pass the bend test. If they pass the bend test, then they have an opportunity to work for National Boiler in the future after they graduate. So let's help these guys prep their metal and get ready to bend them. All right, we're back in action. Got it filled up pretty good. Yeah. Got about halfway, so halfway on filling. Yeah, well, I took the took the MBS test and busted it on lack of fusion in my hot pass and had a little bit of porosity. That's about all. Okay. Not too bad, but what was uh, what do you think caused the porosity? Uh, probably long arcing. It's usually usually what I do. I struggle with that sometimes. So, okay. yeah. So what's some advice that you could give to somebody who's going to take a weld test for National Boiler Service or just a weld test in general? What would you? What advice would you give somebody? I just pra practice a lot more and. If it's restricted, get get in a restricted place and, and practice a lot more. I didn't I done probably two of the two post restricteds and that's probably why I failed, you know. So I needed some more practice. I get it next time though. So as you can tell, not everything is sunshine and rainbows at the Kentucky Welding Institute. The whole point of welding school is for you to have a lot of failures and struggle to learn the process of welding. Now that doesn't mean you won't learn it, but you will struggle and you will fail a lot here at the Kentucky Welding Institute. That's the whole point of welding. Welding is just a science experiment. So you have to constantly fail at something to get better at it, okay? Out in the real world, it's not good to fail. Meaning if you bust a weld due to an x-ray or a bad shot, you have to go back and fix it and sometimes you don't even get to go back and fix it. So making mistakes here at the Kentucky Welding Institute, learning how to fix your mistakes and move on from them is one of the most important things that you could do here at KWI. So we failed as weld test, that's totally okay. We're still in welding school. You can still make those changes needed to get better each and every day. If you wanna learn more about the Kentucky Welding Institute, check our website, kwi.us. Also, our National Senior Welding Competition is coming up this April, so go ahead and register right now for that. That is any senior with a welding class in the whole entire country. So we'll see you guys here April 12th. Go ahead and get signed up for that and stay tuned on our social media for our latest updates and posts. Thanks for watching. I'm Keegan and this is KWI.